there's that cold weather I was asking for. Oh, I'm just chilled to the bone. I've got a bit of a breeze. As I'm moving these hives, uh, just the disturbance as I'm trying to crack them off the ground because they're froze to the ground as I'm scraping the runners. I have to uh, scrape off all the mud so the pallets fit on the truck and stack properly. But it's disturbing the hives just a bit and the, my bees are just coming to the entrance to complain a bit and then they go back inside because it's so cold. So that's good they're not, you know, flying into my face or whatever. Things are going pretty smoothly. The frost is nice because I'm not having to use four-wheel drive. Forecast is cold, very cold. We're going below seasonal, I guess. But it should only take me, once I get these nukes in, it takes me a bit longer to put the nukes in just because they're not as, you know, typical as the rest of my apiary. Not as streamlined. So it's taken me all day to get all the nukes into the uh, winter shed. And then it should take me about three or four days to pick up the rest of the hives. It's pretty quick work moving uh, those migratory type boxes. This is my last load of the night. I just wanted to come in here and just pick this load up, this yard up by itself. This uh, this is our silage field and we just made an absolute mess of it with ruts. And now it's frozen. And now it's frozen ruts, so it's hard to get in here. I was bouncing and pounding all the way and getting in here, so I wanted to make sure just to pull this bee yard out by itself. I didn't want to have any other yards on here just to make it easier to uh, to get in here, load them up and then drive them out. I'll have to drive out nice and slow. One problem I'm, I'm having though is with the frozen ground, of course, like I was saying, the hives, the pallets are froze down and it's causing me a bit of trouble. It's pretty dark here. I'll bring this to the front. It's causing me trouble with the pallets freezing to the ground and because my equipment's starting to get old as uh, I'm starting to lose some of these runners sticking to the ground. So I'm just, you know, I have to transfer some hives onto better pallets and I'm just also repairing the pallets as we go. If, if the runner pulls off it's usually because it's rotten so I'm just putting a new one just underneath screwing it on. So it's adding a little bit of time. There we have all the nukes in. Kind of rode them a little bit tighter here this year just to fit them all in. And my first production yard. So we had a pretty good start today. These hives were bearding when I was putting them on the truck. So I hope I have enough feed in here for them. You know, that's... Uh, I wonder if that's heavy enough. I'm going to bring this in to scale it. I've been spot checking all these hives and everything seems to be where I want things, but this just seems a little light to me. Let's double check. Yeah, so that's that's 48 pounds, just about 50 pounds. So that's that's practically all I can fit into these five frames. So these guys are up to weight. 